No way. Daryl Sittler. Daryl Sittler rookie card in mint condition. It's got to be worth a fortune. Well, I guess it pays to clean out the basement. Bunch of old junk sitting around the house for years collecting dust. Look who's talking. Huh? Oh, Brent, look. Baby pictures. You were so cute. Yeah, that big round head, thin hair. I haven't changed a bit. Wait a minute. You meant I'm an old piece of junk that's been sitting around the house for... We've moved on, Dad. Hey, how come I never see any old wedding photos of you two? Uh, well, uh, you didn't know? No what? Your father and I, um... Uh, it's just that... The, the thing is, uh, we never actually got married. What? Look, Brent, it, 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 was a, it was a different time. Your father and I were, were young and... We could hardly keep our hands off each other, and... Okay, okay I'm, I'm instantly repressing that. You gotta be kidding me. It's amazing, but true. I am shocked. Daryl Sittler rookie card? That's gotta be worth a fortune. Yeah. Oh, and I also found out my parents were never married. Really? That's also interesting. Can I see the hockey card? Oscar and Emma were never married? Apparently. Wow. You're actually a bastard. I guess I am. Although I prefer the term love child. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't this used to be my hockey card? Yeah, I lost that whole pack to you playing Knuckles. So you admit you lost it fairly in a legally binding schoolyard game? Well, yeah, I'm just... Yoink. Doesn't really seem fair. What do you expect? He's a bastard. Love, child. Stupid ketchup. What? What, what? I was gonna let it slide, but I'm curious. How is ketchup stupid? It's spelled wrong. Ketchup. <laughs> Hell of a way to run a railroad. <laughs> you can spell it that way. It's an option. It's a wrong option. Ketchup with a K or catsup is a legitimate option. Who says catsup? Who argues with condiments? Cat. Sup. Beyond me. Guess what? Brent is a bastard. Oh, no, he can be inconsiderate sometimes, but. No, I mean a literal bastard. Oscar and Emma were never married. No. Where did you hear that? You know, sometimes you jump to wild conclusions. Oscar can't read. What? I saw him sounding out a ketchup bottle. I think he might be functionally illiterate. He's not illiterate. He's barely functional. He's non functionally literate. Well, think about it, Wanda. Oscar's quick temper, his crankiness, could all be a defense mechanism to mask his illiteracy. Or he could be quick-tempered and cranky. Or you could just be enabling him. I think you need a little more evidence than a ketchup bottle. That's good advice. Thanks for your help, Wanda. I'm not helping you. I'm enabling you. Is Knuckles legally binding? I don't understand that sentence. You know, the, the game, Knuckles. You, 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 know, you put your knuckles together like this, right? And then you... Just, you oh! I know Knuckles. Well, is it legally binding? Any game has rules. If those rules are broken, you could have an argument. What happened exactly? Show me. Okay, well, uh, Brent and I, we had our knuckles together like this, right? <laughs> you suck at Knuckles. You weren't playing fair, but... To, Hey! Wanda thinks you're a bastard. It's true. I am a bastard. Really? Your parents were never married? Well, I don't mean I'm inconsiderate. And you just found out now? How are you holding up? Well, at first I... Oh, I've got a great idea. You know what you should do? I'm not gonna have a big wedding for Mom and Dad. No, no, that's not what I was gonna say. What I was gonna say is you should get a t-shirt made up that says, I'm a bastard. 
Oh, well, now you're talking. The thing about a wedding is not to let it get too big. A hundred, hundred and fifty people tops. After all, it's Oscar and Emma's day. Well, it's really not their day. It's their friend's day. <laughs> but they should have a say. This should be mine. I should be taller, but what are you going to do? I'll play you again for it, huh? Double or nothing. Now, why would I do that? It wasn't fair. See, my hands were like this, right? And... You owe me another settler. <clears throat> Come on, it could be beautiful. No, Davis. I, I take care of everything. Music, catering. We could make an arch out of daisies. Daisy arch? <laughs> You'll never get me under one of those death traps. This is getting completely out of control. There's not going to be a wedding. Why not? Would you marry Oscar? Look, it's none of my business, but Brent's really broken up over this. Really? This whole world shattered. <laughs> You'll get over it. All right, fine. It's your decision. It's a shame, though. Cheating yourself out of all those wedding gifts, toaster, bread maker, power drill. Everybody, Oscar and Emma are getting married. <laughs> hey, Oscar, how are the wedding plans? I'm staying out of it. Emma's the one who's excited. You know, women. Now, obviously, the real cake will be much bigger. And the little plastic bride is wearing white, but we'll tackle that one later. Now, I'm just going to go ahead here and raise a touchy subject. Chocolate fondue. Now, I know it can be tacky, but I think with the number... Emma? Well, hurry back. We have to meet the confetti guy at three. That's great. Oscar, did you drop this? What's this? It says the happy little train. The happy little train. Oh, it's not mine. It's some kid's book. <laughs> One of these traits has a mustache. <laughs> yeah, the pictures are nice. But why don't you read the book and later we'll talk about it? Oh, a mustache on a train. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you treat my hockey card? It's my hockey card. Besides, you owe me like 300 Daryl Sittlers by now. Yeah, 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 I'll get you later. But that hockey card is mine. You remember when we played that game? Huh? We were eight years old. Hey, who are those kids? I don't know. You were saying? Oh, right. I want my hockey card back. Keep trying, Oscar. You can do it. I just don't know how you can hold on to something that isn't rightfully yours. Huh. You seem fine hanging on to that 20 bucks I lent you. A year and a half ago. You're ignoring the spirit of the game, Brent. I never flinched. I winced. A wince is just a wince. A sigh is just a sigh. What? Look, give me a break, okay, Hank? Tonight I have to throw a stag party for a 63-year-old man who's my father. I know. I'm just saying that there's a difference between a wince and a flinch. What's the difference? I'll show you. Don't. Okay, this is... Oh! Oh! You suck at knuckles. So Davis can't come to this thing? No, Mom said he fell asleep hemming. Listen, if we are going to do this wedding, I'd be proud of you to be my best man. Oh, geez, Dad, I'd love to. Thank you, son. But I can't. I'm giving Mom away. You're useless. We almost had a moment there. What a nice surprise. But you guys really didn't have to throw me a stag at. Really? Lacey said we had to. And we want to. It's nice. 
Yeah, and it's good to get away from Hank whining about that hockey card. Yeah, but Hank might actually have an argument. What argument? You lost it in a legitimate competition. How is Knuckles legitimate? I'll get it. Oh, and the hockey card debate was just getting interesting. You know, I'm glad you guys decided to keep this low-key. Sometimes these things can get out of hand and vulgar. More pastry, Emma. Hot in here. Ooh. <sighs> Lighten up. This is supposed to be a stag, and you all look like you're mad at each other. Nah. We're not. I am. Well, yeah, Dad's mad at me. And these two are mad at each other over that stupid card. It's not stupid. And are Oscar and Hank mad at each other? Geez, I'm not sure. Are you guys? Nope. No, we're good. All right, then. Party on. Want to play Knuckles? I'm getting drunk. By definition, flinch and wince are both involuntary muscle contractions. They're two different things. No. In Solomon versus Alexan, the Supreme Court ruled that any specific motor function... I don't care about court. I am talking about how it goes down in the street. What do you think? Both arguments have merit. Hmm. Hey, does that train have a mustache? Yeah. And this one's wearing glasses. <laughs> That's delightful. I don't know what you're giving up, Oscar. The single life, staying out late, sitting alone at the bar. Single life? Me and Emma have been together for 35 years. Well, sure, you've been playing house, but it's not the same as marriage. Trust me, I've been there. Yeah, I forgot you had a wife. Hmm. Used to have a wife and a house. Should have got a prenup. It's important to put things in writing. I need your help. You do? Oh, yes. Yes, that's good. I'd be happy to help Oscar. I just think I'd be more comfortable if I was able to put things in writing. Oh, I knew it. Oscar, I am behind you all the way. Well, that's great to hear. Lacey says we should get a prenup. What? You ungrateful... Now, hey, hey, just wait a minute. Ah! Uh. What happened? Uh. Why do we need a wedding rehearsal anyway? It's a long-standing wedding tradition. Like drunken uncles. Probably goes back to the Victorians. Did they invent that chicken dance, too? That was the Spanish Inquisition. Hmm. What are they rehearsing? They get married, we watch. It doesn't take a lot of skill. Not like, say, uh, scoring a goal against Czechoslovakia in overtime and win 76 Canada Cup. You're not getting the hockey card. But that's the entire point of the game, to make your opponent flinch. I know the law, Wanda, and that hockey card belongs to Hank. You figure you know the law because you're a cop? In Dog River? I also watch Law and Order. You pushed me. You fell. Well, you were gonna push me. When did I ever push you? Hey, how's the happy couple? Oh, you mean us. What do you care, Mr. Giveaway the Bride? <clears throat> you know what you should give away? I'm not giving you the hockey card. Look, I'm sorry about the best man thing. It's just, Mom asked first, and more importantly, I like her better. Well, you left me in the lurch. No one else is available. I could do it. Not a single person. Oh, I could be best man. The lurch. That's what I'm in. Hey. I'm not talking to you. You broke my neck. What? This whole stupid wedding was her idea. What? How is it my idea? And now even Karen and Wanda are arguing about something. The statute of limitation clearly states that the date of accrual begins with the discovery of harm. Oh, if somebody stole my hockey card, he'd discover harm, all right. And then, after the champagne waterfall, we move outdoors for fireworks. Well, 
Your friends certainly are lucky to have you to help organize all this. Yeah, uh, friends help friends. This is a pretty friendly community. We're a little early. Want to grab a coffee? Look, Hank, I've been thinking a lot about this hockey card thing. Me too. It's ruining a good friendship. Karen and Wanda's. Yeah, and it's all the fault of that damn hockey card. Curse you, Daryl Sittler. Ow! That's the third time I've done that. It's like I've been cursed. We gotta find a way to make all four of us happy. Oh, I know. All we gotta do is get uh, three more of those Daryl Sittler rookie cards, huh? Good. Your plan is simple, yet impossible. Geez, are we in the right place? They've turned it into a gay bar. Again with the gay bar. Excuse me, everybody. Uh, most of you already know that Emma and I had a sort of misunderstanding, mostly because of some bad legal advice. What? Well, I take responsibility for my mistakes, so I'd like to read something. Sort of an apology. No, Oscar, don't embarrass yourself. You're right. Why should I apologize? It's your fault. Well, that's not what I meant. Oscar knows what I mean. Oscar? Lacey knows. Well, it's pretty obvious, Emma. Now that it's out in the open, I... I guess I'm relieved. Could you tell us what's going on? This is so embarrassing. Maybe Lacey will tell them. Well, sure, Oscar, I'll tell them. <clears throat> Everyone, Oscar can't read. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny? That an old man can't read? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess on one level it is kind of funny, but... Lacey, Dad can read. No, you're all just enabling him. I'll prove it to you. Oscar was gonna read this apology? Well, there's nothing written on it. Except for, dear Emma, I'm sorry I love you, and then it goes on. Oh, Oscar! You can read. Of course I can read. I was starting to wonder about you, though, with your happy train books. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, Lacey, if only someone had told you. Oh, I made a complete fool of myself. Hope they don't write about this in The Howler. Nah, the big story's a new bylaw. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'd like to um, say something, too. First of all, I'd like to thank Davis. I don't know how you managed all this with the money we gave you. You'd think he'd spent half of next year's police budget on our wedding. <laughs> a wedding is a wonderful event. But as you've seen, it can also be a swirling, screeching hell on earth. I, I, I guess what I'm saying is that Oscar and I were legally married 35 years ago. Goodbye, power drill. It's a bit embarrassing. We eloped, and for reasons that are better left unsaid, we didn't want anyone to know about the wedding. I think Emma should say the unsaid reasons. It was the 60s. It was a different time. Oh, no. It wasn't one of those hippie weddings. No. That'd be the day. It was... an Elvis wedding. Well, it's not so bad, being married by a guy dressed as Elvis. Yeah. Yeah, the guy was dressed like Elvis. We vowed we'd never show anyone those wedding pictures. That's why we made you all think we weren't married. Or you could have said, we lost the photos. Mind you, that wouldn't have been as scarring emotionally. Oh, don't blame me if you can't see through a lie. 
I'm sorry I panicked in fibs. There's no wedding. Let's eat. Yeah. Finally. Can you pass me the butter? Okay. I uh, have to go check on something in the car. Okay, I think we have a deal here. Hank gets the card, and then he sells it back to me. I get the satisfaction of knowing I was right. And now, Hank has the money to pay back the 20 I lent him. A year and a half ago. Agreed? Yeah. All right, now let's never speak of Daryl Sittler again. I feel like I've been shunned. Now give me my money. Oh, I'll get you later. Yes. Bastard. I prefer Son of Elvis. We should have done this a long time ago. Yep. Don't know.